All right, next up, how much does your partner know about your work? Recently, we all found out that Shailene Woodley is engaged to NFL quarterback Aaron Rodgers, which for all of us who follow celebrity gossip anyway, but on an interview on the tonight show, Shailene said she actually doesn't really know what he does. You know, she barely knows about football and doesn't watch him play. So I want to start with you, Jabari, because first of all, before we get into the work stuff, can you tell me what everyone's reaction to in the NFL was when they found out that Shailene and Aaron are engaged out of nowhere? Oh yeah. That was, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that everybody was excited for Aaron as well. I mean, anytime I'm, I'm just going to speak as a man. All right. I'm going to be real, but anytime that you as a man, as a ball player, you, you get, you should become a partner with someone that's a celebrity, someone that is obviously above your pay grade. Uh, you get, you know, you get pat on the back by some of these guys, you know what I mean? And that's okay. That's all right. He, he did, he did well for himself. <laughs> what do you think about the fact that she doesn't, like, she was like, he throws balls for a living. I don't know. Okay, well, I would ask you, ladies, I would defer to y'all, if y'all honestly believe that she doesn't know what Aaron Rodgers does. That's the first oh. question that you ladies ask. The first question you ask okay. about when, when you talk to a man is like, what do you do for a living? And then once you find out, either okay. if you're not knowledgeable, you Google it. All right? So I'm not buying the fact that she doesn't know exactly what he does. He's one of the most high-profile yeah, guys in the world. Know. She might know what he does, but if she didn't like me, if she wasn't raised with football, she might not understand completely what he does. And I think the question is like, would that matter if somebody just appreciated like coming to the games and watching you play and like was like, wow, that's amazing, but had no clue what was going on. Would that matter to you? Oh, not at all. Yeah. No, not at all. I think that with um, when you have something that you do for a profession, uh, you want to be able to be an individual with that profession. It's a part of your identity. And then I believe that as a professional athlete, if my if my partner did not uh, really understand what I did and I brought it to her to try to welcome her in, as long as she was open or susceptible, as long as she was willing, excuse me, to learn a little bit more about it, then I would appreciate it. You got to be more than willing. You have to put in an effort because people spend so many hours of their day doing their work. And if your partner shows no interest, then they're kind of not showing enough of an interest in you. I do think that there is a funny counterexample, though, in the NFL. You have Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen, and she was arguably too invested in his work when she started, you know, like calling out receivers on social media saying that they weren't catching the ball well enough. So I do think there are two sides of this coin. I think everybody has to be a good storyteller. This is the bottom line. I'm just realizing as you guys are talking about it. Initially, I was thinking I could never date somebody who was doing something for a living that was completely out of my realm. Um, and I, But I think I actually could. But they have to be able to tell the story of what they do well. Because we've all met those people who are like, well, today I went to work and John, you know, John said that this thing was happening with the sales and mergers and acquisitions. And I don't care. <laughs> tell me a good story and then I will be in invested and then maybe I'll fall in love with you. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but you bring up a good point, Cynthia, where you were, you were like, there are some professions that you don't care about. And Hey, Jabari, I'm going to let you in on a secret. Maybe you already know this in certain, you know, dating conversations among women, you have professions that y when you're giving advice to someone, you might say, avoid a dude who does this. And rock stars, professional music, rock stars, rock stars yeah. musicians, athletes. You happen to be an athlete and a personality. What do you think about, you know, women who say, oh, I could never get with a professional athlete. There's just too much, too much involved. Oh. I would say, uh, you know, at least go on, let's, let's grab coffee, at least. And then you can tell for yourself whether uh, you like me or not. Okay. So I think that as long as I can get you to get coffee with me, I have the gift of gab to be able to bring you in just a little bit. Just put a little, put a little line in, in, in the water. And once I can do that, then we have some fun. There's the winner's <laughs> attitude, the athlete's winner's attitude. <laughs> I think uh, all the exceptions to the rules go out the window when it comes to Jabari Greer. Anyway, uh, our win... <laughs>